If there's one New York baseball story to you that stands above the rest, what would it be? I think it, actually it's a storyline. I think, J.D., it kind of encapsulates both teams. It was like, what is wrong with these teams? You know, I mean, for the Mets especially, why couldn't they hit? Why, did, why did, couldn't they get, on, get things going? Uh, for the Yankees, it was they were hot, they were cold. Why can't this team hit the way they're supposed to? So it, it felt like a, a year where it, it, it mystified fans from, almost from start to finish with the way the Yankees finished the wild card and, of course, the Mets finishing out of the, out of the race. And, and it, it, came, it was mostly about the offense. You know, neither, we couldn't figure out why neither one of these teams could hit. The, both teams, I was look, checking it again today, they both hit 238 with runners in scoring position, 20, tied for 25th in the majors. Something just wasn't right all year. To me, that felt like the biggest storyline. Yeah, you know, I'm going to completely agree with Harp. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have, uh, you know, any fancy numbers to give. But realistically, watching these two teams all season, they were both a disappointment in one fashion or another. Uh, neither lived up to the expectations that really, and, and what matters is what the fans had for these teams. Uh, I didn't expect the Yankees to get to the World Series or win the World Series. So them falling short wasn't a surprise for me, but obviously a lot of people thought that this would be either the team to beat in the AL East and or and the AL or, you know, one of. And, and they proved to really just be kind of another good team that could score, you know, not, not even score some runs, that had like one good pitcher, didn't play great defense, could hit some home runs at times, but really just fell short. And then the Mets, of course, uh, you know, I think with them, it was an all-encompassing thing of injuries, uh, scandals, if you want to call it that, uh, you know, just rat raccoon, booing, whatever, whatever, it, thumbs down, whatever you want to call it, all this stuff encapsulated a team that just wasn't living up to expectations and didn't know how to handle it. Um, you know, and you put those two together in one town, and it was really just a disappointing year and really not an entertaining year to watch baseball in New York City. I want to piggyback on kind of everybody's answers and I'll be a little bit more specific. I think the biggest storyline kind of was the, the managers both on the hot seat, both Aaron Boone and Louis Rojas. I uh, basically from the first month on, it was like, will these guys keep their jobs? It was like a drama going back and forth. Ultimately, you know, good for the Yankees. They got Louis Rojas to join the, their major league staff and their organization, which is a, a great get for them. But it was really one of those things where you're like, man, I don't know if these guys keep their jobs. Uh, Rec talked it about, about it a little bit, and it was the expectations that the Mets had. Well, the Yankees had the expectations as well. I don't think they're as well-rounded of a team of, uh, as on the roster, but I thought the, the big drama of will the managers maintain their jobs and be able to keep their jobs was the biggest storyline that kind of was the undertone and then it stayed throughout the whole season.